बड़े सो आज हम जा रहे हैं द हार्ली डेविडसन शोरूम इन हैदराबाद सो टुडे वी गोइंग टू द हार्ली डेविडसन शोरूम एंड द रीजन इज आई वाज डिस्कसिंग विद बुलू बाइकर येस्टरडे बुलू बाय एंड He also wants to upgrade his motorcycle. उन्हें नया मोटरसाइकिल खरीदना है सो वी नैरो डाउन टू हार्ली डेविडसन स्ट्रीट रॉड और द स्ट्रीट सेवन फिफ्टी द न्यू वन यू ऑल नो दैट इयर्स अगो आई वॉज वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट पीपल टू टेस्ट राइड द स्ट्रीट सेवन फिफ्टी एंड आई स्टिल हैव एंड रिडन द स्ट्रीट रॉड सो आज मैं दोनों बाइक चलाऊंगा चला के आपको अपडेट बताऊंगा हाउ आर दीज बाइक्स so let's go to the Harley Davidson showroom and agar blue bike kareed lenge this bike if he purchases this bike i will have a street rot right in bangalore here we what is so we have reached the Harley Davidson showroom in hyderabad and i am with this absolutely handsome looking street rot generally i refer to motorcycles as she but this one well i would have to say handsome just check the motorcycle out Right, buddy. So here I am, all set to test ride the Harley Davidson Street Rod. Okay. So let me get on to this motorcycle now. All right. The ski. Let me put it in. It's kind of in a strange position, but fine. Okay. How are the brakes? Let me check that. Let me go back. All right buddy so let me tell you the first impressions about this motorcycle the handlebar position is something which you would find very very different from any of the motorcycles that you have ever ridden because it is kind of challenging i mean your hands would be absolutely straight this way and if you are someone who doesn't have uh as long hands as i do then probably <laughs> it might not be very comfortable for you you know and even the position of your feet okay it is something you have to get used to okay these are the first two impressions that i have noticed and let me keep riding but this handlebar position does give you a lot of motivation now why i use the word motivation is because it's it kind of gives you that attitude to ride this motorcycle hard the handlebar is something which you will either love it or hate it nothing in between friends i'm back to first gear now Let me get into a few potholes to see the suspension. Bad roads do help. <laughs> I mean only when you're test riding a motorcycle so that you can check and feel the suspension. Okay first time I've opened the throttle now in the test ride today and how is the acceleration now I need a better road to judge it but by the little bit of throttle that I've opened on this very busy street what I can tell you is the torque is decent I mean it would kind of put a smile on your face All right buddies let me get on to the street 750 now from the street rod 
noticeable difference is of course the handlebar the most important thing and okay one moment okay so basically the electric starter has to be pushed in with a lot of effort that is something well i mean on the street 750 to be very frank the plastics are something which i have never been happy with you see all of these plastics they kind of look not the harley davidson quality i wouldn't want to use the word cheap but they are definitely not the harley davidson quality and immediately after riding the street rod when i get onto the street 750 this one feels way way more comfortable i can tell you that because the handlebar on the street rod is like an attitude kind of a bar on this one it is more of a comfort oriented bar and even the foot pegs on the street 750 i mean they are almost the same as the street rod but a little bit more onto the comfort side and the gearing i somehow feel that the gearing of the street 750 is more suitable for the street traffic the urban traffic than the street rod oh uh, no i'm not really sure if they have different gear boxes but it definitely feels like that overall in this kind of traffic i just feel that the street 750 handles way way better and the brakes now the most important part is that the street 750 the previous version had absolutely awful brakes now the brake pads were ordinary or it was the master cylinder we are not very sure about it but the brakes kind of never made you feel confident but on the street 750 the new version they say the brakes have been improved let me check let me check that and the brakes on this new street 750 personally what i feel is they are much better but they are not kind of world class or anything like that they're good they're fine they're absolutely manageable but the brakes on the street rod feel a little bit better the brake cylinder the brake master cylinder on the street rod didn't feel so great it felt a little spongy but the brake bite the friction produced by the brakes was really nice on the street rod now let us talk about the most important part that is the engine heat that gets on to your feet because these motorcycles are labeled as street rod and street 750 correct so that means that these should be uh, manageable in urban traffic so now if you are not wearing riding boots which are made out of leather or leather boots then in that case the heat produced by this engine is going to kind of bother you a bit because right now even though i'm wearing bbg riding boots they are not full length they are ankle riding boots so i am getting protection from the heat but i can still feel a lot of heat getting onto my feet so about the acceleration the street 750 still feels a little quicker than the street rod why is that i don't really know exactly but that is the feel that i get probably because of the gearing i need to check that overall would i buy the street 750 or the street rod if i want style i want a motorcycle which stands out then i would buy the street rod but if i want a motorcycle which is way more practical better gearing and manageable in urban conditions then i would probably buy the street 
So what is I'm done with the test ride of the Street 750 and the Street Rod of Harley Davidson. So what do I feel? I'll let you know now. So buddies, हम कर चुके हैं test ride of the Harley Davidson Street Rod and the Street 750. It was a short test ride यार बहुत traffic रहता है आजकल you know we all know it right I mean on in our urban city conditions there's so much of traffic that experiencing the bike to the fullest in a test ride is not really possible but as much as i have known today depending on that i have few points to share now the reason for me test riding both the harley davidson motorcycles today has been because my friend bulu biker in bangalore uh, we both were discussing and he wants to upgrade or he wants to buy a new motorcycle i mean he already has quite a few motorcycles so i suggested that he should buy the harley davidson street rod which i found to be a very handsome looking motorcycle so unhone kaha ki vikas why don't you test ride the motorcycle also in hyderabad and let let him know what i feel about it so maine kaha let's do it and i went to the harley davidson uh, dealership now quick pointers about the street rod looks 10 out of 10. I absolutely love the way the street rod looks. And next, power, more than enough torque, very good feel. But the gearing is probably not the best for city traffic. And okay, the traffic signal is over. I'll keep driving and talking. So I'll look in the front, but you can still hear me. So the gearing of the street rod is not as uh, good as I would like it to be. I mean, it's not as short as I would like it to be for city traffic because it's named street, but you know, it's got much taller gearing. And when it comes to the brakes, the master cylinder feels very spongy. Uh, you know, you don't get that crisp feel from the brake lever on the street rod, but the braking is good. Uh, it has a good initial bite and also nice progressive bite. So now enough good things said, Sin the not so good things are that in case you are not someone who has got long hands, then you would have an issue holding on to the steering bar because it's got a very long steering uh, handle. And also, uh, I mean, on one hand, the steering bar looks absolutely awesome. And on the other hand, it is ergonomically not so good. I mean, you would be stress stressing your shoulders and your hands. And also the foot pegs, the position of the foot pegs on the street rod are kind of challenging too. So basically it's an awesome looking motorcycle, but ergonomically it is not so great. But again, it is a love it or hate it kind of a motorcycle. If you love it, you'll absolutely love it. Or if you don't like it, you'll probably hate it. So let me speak about the Street 750 now. Street 750, I have ridden it quite a bit in the past. And the first generation of the Street 750, the biggest concern and the issue was the brakes. The brakes were not so good. The brake pads were not producing enough friction. The master cylinder was not producing enough pressure. So brakes were kind of awful. But Harley Davidson India, they have uh, noticed it that they have taken the feedback from people and they have improved the braking now this current generation street 750 does have really good brakes and another good thing is that the gearing is not as tall as the uh, the street rod so in city urban traffic the gearing is good and you would actually enjoy riding that motorcycle and uh, also because the handlebar is not a straight long one it also feels nice and ergonomic when you're riding the street 750 so ergonomically street 750 is much better so that's it friends uh, so should bulu biker buy it but uh, i think bulu biker should not buy the street rod he should buy the street 750 that is what i personally feel uh, because he does a lot of very long rides and street 750 would probably be more comfortable for him so that is it friends if you have any questions do let me know and if you're not subscribed to me you're missing out on about 570 videos and i'm also available on facebook and instagram and kabhi agar mauka milega to i will take these motorcycles out on a highway ride so if i get an opportunity sometime soon i'll take these motorcycles on a highway ride and chala kar bataunga kaisa lagte hai ye motorcycle when i'm touring or when i'm riding them hard bye bye